Hello everyone, my name is Steven and I am a first year dental student. Today is January 1st, 2021, which means for a lot of people, a new year, new opportunities, and just a whole lot of things to come and look forward to. For me, it means that my second semester of my first year of dental school is starting in just a few days. And now is the best time to go ahead and get ready for that semester. Today, I'm gonna to be using two programs or two apps that I use as a dental student every day to basically schedule up and prepare for this entire semester. And I'm gonna bring you along with me to show you the entire process. And we'll go from having zero plan to having a rock solid plan that will hopefully allow me to succeed this semester. If you wanna see more dental school content, I'm going to be making an absolute ton in 2021. So make sure you are subscribed now and go ahead and jump on the team because it's going to be a fun year. Also like this video and let me know what you think down in the comments. I think that scheduling and staying organized is really, really important when it comes to doing well in school. And this has taken me kind of years to not even perfect, but just get better at. And here I am now in dental school and I'm still trying to figure out what exactly works for me, but I've come up with a few things that I think do pretty well for me and that's kind of what I'm gonna share with you today. So today I'll be walking you through all the assignments and courses that I will be completing this semester, like I said, my second semester of dental school, and it should be an interesting time just to kind of see like what the curriculum looks like and how exactly I go about preparing for it. So I'm gonna take you into the computer and the first place that we're gonna head in order to do all of this is Notion. And Notion is just sort of a content management system. It's a great way to customize anything really when it comes to information. And it is kind of like the first place that I like to start in order to make myself feel like I'm a little bit more organized. So as I head into my Notion here, you will see that I have an entire page uh, in my workspace for dental school. And I'm gonna go ahead and actually add my DDS one spring semester. And of course, I want to turn this into a page so that I can put things into it. And now I have my second semester page ready to go. I will click in and I will add my icon here. I think I'm just gonna go to, uh, let's see, peace. So there is the beginning of my page. Now I'm gonna go back to my first semester page and show you what I did last semester and kind of show you how I'm gonna apply that over to this semester. So here's the page that I made for my first semester of dental school. And what you'll see here is at the top, I have study materials. Then I have all of my exams, which we call PAR, P-A-R. And then down below that, I have my coursework and basically a page for every class. So heading back to my spring semester page, I am going to go ahead and start making pages for all my exams. And I think this is important because you can choose however you want to systematize what you're doing. So I like to go exam by exam. You may go subject by subject, but I, based on the way that I'm currently taking school or doing school, which is online, the best way that I've found to do it is to organize by exam. So now I have all of my text for my exams. We have six exams this semester, as well as a final, which you can see here. And I'm basically gonna take this drag and I'm going to hit turn into page. And now each of these is its own page and I can add you know, my emoji in there and make it look nice. And this is where I'm gonna put all of the information for each of my PAR tests to stay organized. So once I have all of my pages for my exams, I'm gonna go below this and make a table or a database. So I'm gonna hit forward slash and then table is gonna come up here and I wanna look at these options and I'm actually gonna choose list in line and then I can just write coursework, which is of course going to represent my different classes that I'm taking this semester. And like I said, this is just a good way to kind of dump any and all information for each class into one place. We have of course Blackboard, which is our school's you know university website where we get all of our information, but this is just sort of my own way to organize things and, and keep all of the, the information for each class in its own page. So now I will go ahead and add all of my courses for this semester in and pick emojis for each course. All right, so as you can see here, I've gone ahead and added all of my pages in for my coursework this semester. And you can also now see that I missed one. <laughs> I forgot to put karyology, which is our study of 
how teeth decay. So now you can see all of the courses that I have made for this semester, and you can also see what we're taking. And like I alluded to earlier, these pages are where each course is going to have its own home. So anytime I have information that I need to put somewhere, like a schedule, an assignment, or anything, I can go into these pages and open them up, and I can use all of this space to do anything I want. And that is kind of the beauty of Notion. Also, as a side note, I love the fact that you can add emojis to each of these pages because it's kind of fun to try to figure out which emoji to use for each type of class. And some of them are pretty spot on, some of them aren't at all, but they're fun to do anyways. So now that I've finished making my coursework pages, I will use those as time goes on. I will dump information into them as I need or see fit. But the next thing I wanna do is actually utilize these PAR pages, these exam pages. So for you, these might be exam one, exam two, exam three. For me, they're of course PARs. But what I'm gonna do is basically outline the lectures that are required for each PAR. And this is a little bit weird and confusing and it's gonna require a lot of time and effort for me because I have to go out and figure out which courses are on each exam and which lectures are on each exam for each course. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna meet back up with you because it's gonna take me a while. All right, so after a few minutes of hard work, I am back and I've created this entire exam one page. And I think this is a good time to explain how my school, which by the way, UTHSC, College of Dentistry uh, here in Tennessee, that's where I'm at. But this is a good time to explain why my school or what we actually do for our exams because you may be a little bit confused. Basically, we integrate all of our courses into the same exam. So PAR 1 is on January 25th of this coming, you know, this coming month, and it's going to cover one, two, three, four, five courses. So each of those courses has its own set of lectures that will be covered on this exam. And the exam itself is going to have questions from all of those courses just interspersed completely randomly. Something that's a little bit different about this semester for my class and I is that we have one of our biggest courses of dental school, which is gross anatomy. And that's going to have exams of its own, which I have to admit is a little bit scary. Um, and that one, our first assessment, as they're calling it, is February 1st, and it's going to have its own set of lectures. So I'll go ahead and show you what I've done here. Basically, I've in my PAR, uh, PAR 1 page, which you can see here once again, I have gone ahead and added, of course, the date of, of my exam. You can add in any other information you want. This is the beauty of Notion. You can truly do anything you want. I also have added headings. These are heading three for each of my courses that are covered on this exam. So you'll see here physiology, uh, craniofacial development, Operative 2 and biomaterials are covered, but they don't have the information yet online of what is going to be on that exam. And then you see here occlusion. So each one of these sections has a to-do list, and it's going to allow me to check off these uh, these lectures when I finish them. And that's just like a good way to like kind of see what I have to do and then kind of know where I'm at and which ones I've done, which ones I haven't. This also gives you an idea of some of the things that we're currently learning. Physiology has a bunch more topics within these, uh, these topics that are shown here. And I wanted to also show you that this right here, as my computer is about to die, is actually what one of the schedules that the teachers would distribute looks like. It's just going to have a list of all the lectures and then it's going to show us when our exam is. So once I see you know, that this is our exam one, I'm basically gonna add all of these uh, lectures in. So this is Cranio and you'll see that these lectures are here. And really all this is is a checklist that, like I said, allows me to kind of check off where I'm at and also helps me decide week to week how many lectures I need to get through in order to be complete by the time the exam comes around. And then of course down here at the bottom I've added actually a little page break, a little line here, and then you'll see the first gross anatomy assessment. And these are all the topics that we'll be covering on our first uh, gross anatomy exam. So this is all that I'm doing pretty much in the month of January. And you know, like I said, operative and biomaterials still haven't uploaded their information. And also there are labs that I have to do in this time as well as assignments and other things. But this is pretty much just what I do to kind of lay out all the information for my exams. Now I wanted to actually take a second here to note that I don't actually make schedules within Notion because I found that it takes way too long to go and make you know schedules and block out everything in Notion and I end up not really using them. 
and I'll show you why I can kind of get away with that. This is what we're given from our school. This is our schedule for week to week. So you'll see here week one, January 4th through 8th. And it shows us all of the, the lectures that we're supposed to be doing and then all of our labs down here. And But this is interesting because they give us an actual schedule with times and everything for all of our lectures, but we don't actually have to follow this schedule. We are, of course, online for school right now because of COVID. The only thing on this schedule that's really like solid is the lab schedule, which we actually have to be there in person for those, of course. But this is the schedule that we're given from the school, and of course it has every week outlined here. We also have a week-to-week -week schedule that's distributed by one of my classmates, and that has all of the lectures as well as our assignments and labs and everything else just like put into one thing, and that's super nice. But I just wanted to mention that to show that I don't actually make schedules in Notion. It just takes way too long. I use that schedule as well as the one in my email that I was just talking about that my classmate distributes, and that's kind of how I know like the general information of when everything is happening. Okay, so now we have pretty much finished the first portion of this video, which is the discussion of what I do with Notion. But the next thing that I wanna talk about is the main app that I use to study, and that is Anki. Anki is a fantastic app, and what it is essentially is a flashcard app with a little bit more power to figure out how you study, what all you're doing, like your speed that you're studying, what you know and what you don't know. And with that information, it kind of tailors each day for you. If you want to see me talk about this video and how I make individual flashcards to succeed, I will link that video right here. I talked about it for a while and show you step by step of how to make flashcards and like how to make them the right way so that you do well on your tests. But right here, I wanna just go ahead and kind of do what I did with Notion and show you the way that I will plan out my Anki for this semester. The first thing, of course, is to go full screen here. But what I wanna do first is you'll see that I have my DDS1 fall deck right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and go down to where it says create deck and add my DDS uh, DDS1 spring and I did the last one in all caps and I didn't do that this time and that bothers me because I have OCD so I'm going to do that but yeah so this is the spring deck this is going to be the largest deck that I have for this entire semester and when my final exam rolls around I will be able to study from this deck and it will have everything on it which is going to be great but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create another deck now here is once again where you can decide how you want to do this. I'm going to go ahead and make a par one deck. And the reason that I'm doing this is because since we have all of our courses on the same exam, it makes sense to me to add all of my cards into one deck for the entire exam. And that way, when I have to study, I can just blitz through my flashcards for that deck and I will have all of it in the same place. So I've added my par one deck and it's gonna automatically put it right here. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it, click and drag up below that DDS one spring and you'll see that it adds it into this deck. So you can collapse and expand and now you can see which decks are inside. And I'm gonna go ahead and do this for the rest of the exams as well. So now that I've made all of these decks, I'm gonna do the same thing, just click and drag them under the DDS1 spring uh, major deck there, and then you'll see par six and par, this one got kind of messed up. So we'll just do that. So this is going to be all of our par exams laid out, and I now have decks for each one. So now I have, for example, par one. So let's say I'm studying for uh, craniofacial development. What's essentially gonna happen here is I'm gonna go into my Notion, go into my par one page, and now I'm gonna be able to see what I have to do before this first exam. And let's say I've decided that today, for example, it's a Wednesday or whatever random, I've decided that I need to do two craniofacial uh, development lectures. And so I'm gonna see embryology here. I'm gonna go into Blackboard, find the PowerPoint, find the lecture recording and go through that. And while I'm making cards, I'm basically gonna do the same thing I always do, which is add to add cards here. And you'll see that you can kind of create whatever you want in the card. But then what I'm gonna do down here is I'm gonna add tags. Now tags are something that I haven't really used a whole lot in the past, but they're, uh, they're gonna be something that I use today or this semester to stay even more organized. So within this par one deck, I'm gonna add a tag that basically says something like this, which is just, I guess, craniofacial development. And that is going to signify, of course, that 
I have um, this card, whatever I have here on this card, is for this cranio class. And then what I can do is create a filtered deck later, and I'm not really gonna get into that, but these tags are gonna be a great way for me to stay a little bit more organized, and if I want to study one course um, before an exam, instead of all of the courses at the same time, I can create a filtered deck and just filter out cards with those tags, and that'll be a great way to do it. So. That's pretty much what I'm gonna do for Anki. Now I have basically a skeleton of what this semester will look like. I have decks for each of the exams as well as the final. Guys, that's pretty much it. That's how I use Notion and Anki to schedule up a semester and to get organized. Of course, each class has uh, tons of information and there are, there's further organization to do, but this is the general like overview of what I do and this is what has worked for me. It's what worked for me last semester. And you know this is this is a process that has been refined down to this point, getting rid of things that didn't really make sense or didn't work, and just getting to what actually does it for me. I'm super excited about this semester because I am going to be making YouTube videos about the entire thing and trying to basically document each step of the way, which I'm really excited about. And you know this semester is going to be, uh, from what I can tell, one of the most challenging semesters that we have in dental school. So there may be times where I can't spend a whole lot of time on YouTube and I, of course, will be prioritizing school over YouTube, but I'm excited to just kind of take you along with me as I go through this semester two journey. And if you want to see everything that's gonna happen in the future, subscribe now because uh, there should be a lot of videos documenting the process and I think you'll enjoy it. As always, everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate each and every one of you and check out some of the other videos on my channel. There's a few things that you might find there that you enjoy. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I have a few more days of freedom before this, uh, before this semester starts and I'm gonna hopefully spend it just relaxing and enjoying life because Things are about to get pretty serious. That's it for me. I hope this video wasn't too, too long. And yeah, I'll see you next time in the future.